All right, so new in the office is the Acer Chromebook 714. If you remember, alongside its brother, the 715, Acer announced these back in May at their big event. We went to it in New York and we actually spent some time hands-on with these and there's videos and posts on the website you can go take a look at if you'd like to. But we just got it in the office. We've kind of been waiting on these things because if you remember the 715 came out, it was the first one with a numeric keypad and these are both the first devices with fingerprint scanners on them except for the Pixel Slate. So they had some cool superlatives at the time and we've been excited to see them and honestly expected to see them like June, July timeframe. So we're a little bit behind schedule, but we wanted to go ahead and open it up and you know give you some first impressions of what it's like to actually have it here in the office. So a quick reminder of what we're working with here, we're talking all aluminum build, uh, very kind of plain and understated. It's an enterprise focused device, 14 inch screen, 1080p, anti-glare, touch screen. This model comes with the Core i3, so eighth gen. So think, you know, Dell Inspiron Chromebook, Lenovo C630, that whole line. It's, it's part of the NAMI family of devices for those of you that follow along with baseboards and all that stuff. So nothing new really under the hood that we haven't seen before. Eight gigs of RAM comes with this one and 64 gigs of internal storage. Backlit keyboard. The keys are really nice and quiet. I've kind of messed around with them just kind of off camera over here just a little bit. But one of the more striking parts of this is the huge trackpad on here. So it's got the same size trackpad you see on like the 15 inch Acer Chromebooks. And that's one of my knocks that I had with the Spin 13, which this device reminds me of a little bit, uh, just because of the all aluminum and it's kind of got Acer's design look to it in general. But the Spin 13 has this kind of really narrow trackpad and this one has that big, nice, almost square slab of glass right at the bottom. Feels nice and smooth, click is quiet. So the trackpad already feels really nice. Again, the backlit keys look really good. And then you get this superlative here with the fingerprint scanner. And again, we've not seen this since the Pixel Slate and no other Chromebook on almost a year now has equipped a fingerprint scanner. And so I went ahead and set it up real quick as we cut and it works just like you'd expect, just like on the Pixel Slate, logged in. That's all it takes. And so I can imagine myself getting kind of hooked to this uh, over the course of reviewing this device, like the ability to just open it up and touch and be in, uh, that's pretty awesome. But overall, the thing feels great. Uh, it feels really solid. There are some design parts here that feel a little bit like an Acer Chromebook that I dogged on just a little bit, the 514, I think. So there's some parts from just looking at it that kind of look like that, but I can tell you already just handling it, it doesn't feel anything like that device. This one feels way more premium. It feels lighter than it deserves to be at all aluminum and 14 inches, and it's got nice slim bezels on the side. So. I, I don't know, a lot to like here, and I'm obviously going to spend some time with it and get a full review put together, but we wanted to give you just some you know, quick first blush takes on this device since we just got it in the office. I haven't seen it in a long time, and I'm pretty excited to actually use it as my daily driver for the next bit until we get a review to you. But guys, that's it for this one. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure and hit the notification bell if you're interested in this device and you want to see when we put out the full review of it in the future. Until next time. We'll see. Hey guys, real quick, this video is brought to you by NordVPN. They're the VPN of choice for millions of users and that's for a reason. They're awesome at securing your browsing while you're at home or on the go. If you'd like to learn more about them and what they do, go to chromeunbox.com forward slash NordVPN today.